Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, one of the things I've been thinking about is how different different species strike. And I think this is really an important part of us being a better fisherman is understanding that. I know a lot of times I'll be going out with my buddy and uh, we'll, we'll catch different fish. And I'll say, as soon as I set the hook, okay, this is what I've just got. And I say that because the, each species strikes differently. A northern pike, for example, a lot of times will hit at it, hit at it, and you'll feel it hit three or four times on the way in, and you're thinking, when, when, when is it going to really take it? Well, there's a reason for that, because northern pike and lake trout typically try to kill their prey first, then they return and eat it. And that's why in the past, when we weren't thinking so much about catch and release, people would take these these hook type of arrangements where it's impossible not to hook the fish and put on dead minnows and throw out and let it sit on the bottom. And either the lake trout or the northern pike would come and get it. Okay, so that's typical of the way they strike. And that's why a lot of times you won't hook them on the first strike that you feel because they're hitting it differently. Now I think of smallmouth bass. When they hit, they at smallmouth absolutely fascinate me for a number of reasons. But when they hit, often as soon as you feel the hit, your line will go slack because they run right at, how they happen to know where you're at, I don't know. But they'll run right for you and you'll reel as fast as you can to keep up with it to be able to put pressure on the fish to set the hook. And um, I would say 75% of the time when this happens to me, when it gets close to me, the hook just comes out. And I know immediately with that type of strike, I think I'm not going to hook this fish no matter what. But that's the nature of how they strike. Largemouth bass are different. A lot of times it's a mushier sort of strike if, in fact, you're using a moving bait. Like if you're using a spinner bait or a crankbait or something, the strike doesn't have that sharp sharp edge to it that a smallmouth will. And if you're using like a plastic worm, well, that's a whole different thing as well. And you can feel the tap of a largemouth bass. You'll feel that little tick, that tap when they take it. It usually isn't as as astounding, I guess is the best word I can use, as when you use the same bait and fishing the same technique and a smallmouth hits. And the bigger the smallmouth, usually the feel will be more of a, a, instead of a tick or a tap, it's a tonk. You can feel that that heavy tonk when it hits. So, you know, the reason I brought this out is because I was talking with my buddy Dave Swanson, and we were talking about the new way that he's found to catch lake trout down in Cayuga Lake. And it's something I want to pass on to you because there's an awful lot in what he's told me that I think is really appropriate. But one of the things he said is he recently went out with a famous guide down that way that just spends his whole life fishing for lake trout. And the guide told him about how the lake trout will kill their bait first and return to it. And that's why a lot of times Dave says, I'll feel a strike. And I, it's a strong strike. And he says, I won't get a hook set. I won't get, well, that's the reason. So it's, it's fun to know that each one of the fish that we go for, not only do they fight differently, but they strike differently. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.